Welcome back. On Monday, the Science Spectrum is hosting a solar eclipse viewing party. I have Holly Moyers from the Science Spectrum here to tell us about the party and show us a couple of cool projects that you can be a part of and maybe do at home. So thank you so much for joining me yeah, today. I'm excited super excited. To so um, first, tell us about the uh, viewing party that you're having. So we are going to have a solar eclipse viewing party at the Science Spectrum on Monday from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Um, we're going to have a lot of activities available for the public. Public. Uh, we'll have safe solar viewings. We'll have activities going on on the main floor of our museum. We'll, we are going to pull out of our space bubble, which is a portable planetarium. We're going to be doing shows in there throughout the event. Um, but yeah, we also have a Omni movie coming out as well. Um, it's going to be for a limited time viewing. It, it's through from the 6th to the 8th, Solar Max, and um, that movie is all about the sun, what we know about the sun. It includes eclipses and even aurora borealises as well. So if you don't get to enjoy the eclipse festivities on Monday, um, we are showing it the weekend before as well, Saturday and Sunday. Um, and um, for the viewing party, does it cost me anything to go to this viewing party? So for the actual viewing, we will have those available for free outside of the museum. Anything located inside of our museum on the main floor, all those activities, they will just cost the standard general admission fee. Okay. And then um, you'll have glasses, but they're limited. So can you tell us a little bit about the glasses yeah. that you have? Yeah. So we are selling Eclipse glasses. They are extremely limited. We are actually most likely going to sell out within today. So if you're going to come to Science Spectrum to get some glasses, we recommend coming as quick as possible for those. Um, but yes, they're on sale right now in our gift shop for $2.99. Okay. And then there is this contraption over here. Can you tell yes. us a little bit about the sun spotter? Yes. So this is our sun spotter. This is something that will be present at the event. Um, it's kind of a fancy pinhole viewer. Um, so it will take the light, it'll concentrate it, and then project what we see from the sun onto this white piece of paper as well. And you can do different um, different ways of doing this, a lot more budget friendly than our fancy sun spotter here. Um, so you could, there are on online, there are different tutorials to do with this, similar to this with like a cereal box, or one of our more popular ones is a pinhole viewer. So you'll get a piece of cardstock, poke a hole through it with a pencil, hold it on your shoulder with the sun to your back and then you can hold another piece of paper the sunlight will concentrate through that hole and project onto another piece of paper in front of you um, and I know that there's still time to get glasses um, if they order them online um, what are your what's your advice to people looking for glasses online to make sure that they are safe yeah so the biggest tell is definitely making sure they're authenticated so there is a ISO logo on the inside of these ones um, and once you get the glasses in hand, the best way to tell if they're authentic or not is if you put them on and look around, if it's pitch black and you can't see anything, then they're good. But if you can kind of see some shadows, then they're most likely not safe. And I like that these have this warning on there um, and it says, uh, you know, direct, for, use for direct observation of the yes. sun. Because um, a lot of like the fake ones, um, won't have you know this logo and that information on there yes. um, and if you look at the sun or try to look at the sun um, without the proper eyewear you can really really damage your eyesight um, yes, and absolutely. probably even go blind so mm -hmm. very important that you um, when you have these you put them on while looking down then you look up um, at the sun to just to make sure um, that you're not hurting your eyes and then also make sure that the children are you know if they are going to look at them through these making sure that they have these on completely before they look up at the sun. So if you want more information on this event, we'll have all of it on our website in just a bit in the community news section. Stay with us. We'll be right back after this break.